Hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is Sunday evening. This is not our usual go live time, but uh, we are live right now. So hopefully everybody can see us and hear us and we're all good to go. Let's check this on the YouTube side real quick and make sure that we're live. We are live. Woo. All right. So here's the deal, guys. Thunder on the Prairie 2023. Uh, Defense Dad's been putting in the overtime to help get this event ready to go. So we're going to talk all about it. Hopefully answer any questions you guys might have, maybe towards the end of this podcast. And then also you can leave them as comments in this video down below and the defense dad or I will get back to you and respond to the questions for you. But I think we're going to cover the most important details about Thunder in the Prairie 2023, what it's about, what it is, what to expect, what it is and what it isn't. Okay. So, um, so defense dad, you want to, should we just go ahead and do this? Is there anything you want to say before we get started or are you good? Uh, You're all set. Go. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Okay, so date the dates for uh, Thunder on the Prairie 2023. We're looking at Saturday and Sunday, June 3rd and June June 4th. I got Correct. that right? Okay. Yep. So that's when it's going to happen. Basically, an all day event, both days. We'll talk about what's going to happen on each day. Location's going to be at Nebraska Shooters in Firth, Nebraska. It's a firearms instruction school. The link for the event is in the description box down below on this podcast. You can click on the link to go get signed up. Uh, the cost is going to be 25 bucks for each day. You can go one day or the other or both. We obviously encourage you to sign up for both days if you want to. Uh, there is a password that you have to use to register. The password is listed in the description box down below. You're going to need that to register for the event. It's going to be 25 bucks per person. So if you're bringing your significant other and your kid, it would be 25 per person. That's just so each person is a registered attendee. It also assists with insurance region, reasons and so on. So that's what's going to happen from a defense dad and I don't benefit from this monetarily at all. We get we don't get a dime from this except like any swag that gets sent our way to test that we usually give away anyway at these events. That's one thing that could happen, but there's not going to be any direct money going to us, just so you guys know. Right. Um, all right. Anything you want to add right now before we go on? Uh, no, I am hoping we have a good turnout this year. We had a lot of fun last year. We learned a few things. We made a few changes this year. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. So we talked about where to register. There is some limited lodging on site. Now, Firth, Nebraska is about 15 minutes south, southwest, or was it southeast of, of Lincoln? Would you say so? 15 minutes, 20 minutes south? Yeah, about that. Okay, so you can get into Lincoln, Nebraska if you don't mind making a little 20-minute trip to go in there. And there's tons of hotels and motels in Lincoln. You can stay at if you want to, and you can drive out. Now, the lodging that's on site, uh, Defense said, where do they register for the lodging? Is that done through... That's on the registration at the site as well. Yeah. You let them know if you have space. They have it's very limited. They have a bunkhouse that sleeps up to ten people, um, and it's kind of a free will donation type thing um, that they ask because they're not really a hotel. But it's nice. They have there's air conditioning. There's a pool table. There's a little kitchenette, um, showers. I mean, it's, yeah, full kitchen, full kitchen with a fridge and an oven and a sink and showers and. It's almost like you have like your own little suite, like you're renting your own like like apartment basically when you stay there, and you're on site, so you don't have to worry about driving into Lincoln and coming back out because it's a little bit out. It's a little bit out in the country, so uh, just so you guys know. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be limited, I think, to what we say 10? 10 people total can ten, can ten stay is there? the max it sleeps up there. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then otherwise, um, I know I've already I'm already going to have somebody crash into my place, and so my place is going to be occupied. But if you want to get a place, uh, you know. In Lincoln, you're welcome to do so. You can start looking at booking now. We're not going to get a block of rooms because we don't know how many people are going to be coming out for this. So it's not like it's going to be you know, like a massive get together. But it, we had pretty good attendance last year. We did a bunch of different shooting drills and had a long range day of everybody just having a good time and bonding and just shooting different targets and doing so in a safe environment. Have all kinds of different firearms for people to play along with and test out. And uh, I think it's going to be a good time. So that's that's kind of what, what it's about, just getting a bunch of people together that are pro 2A. A lot of pe these people have YouTube channels or they're on Patreon or they're on some other form online where they they have pro 2A content that they do, you know, mostly like firearms tests and gear tests and stuff like that, reviews and so on. So yeah, it's going to be a good the, time. Yeah. The, I, the idea yeah, is to get people, especially with smaller YouTube channels, get together and meet each other and have fun. It's not open to the public. It's just us people coming. So it, this is a firearms instruction school, but they they bumped classes for the weekend um to, to allow allow us to do this so yeah it should be it should be a good time yeah and this is one of those things where let's just say you don't have a channel but maybe you're interested in it or you kind of want to see what it's all about or you just you want to get together with all of us that's fine you know you don't have to have a youtube channel but the majority of the people there do or they have some sort of pro 2a content that they produce just to let you know what the environment's going to be like yep. so so day one day one is going to be a very cool day so defense said you want to take us through day one what's going to happen exactly in the morning up until about lunch maybe Sure. Yeah. So 
we wanted to do it a little bit different. The, the, last year, for those who weren't in attendance, it was a one day event, and, and and it was fun, but it was it wasn't it didn't lend itself very well to like filming. So day one um, is basically a range day, but we got some activities planned. In the morning, we're going to have kind of a top shot contest. There's going to be eight stages set up, and. And well, for those stages, the guns, the ammo are provided. Um, you'll have X amount of shots to go. Then stage one, we've got it ironed out. We actually, we have an itinerary. We're going to talk about what's going to happen, like what the difference. So it's going to be a competition with some sort of major prize that's going to be uh, awarded at yeah. the uh, end of the event. Once it's all figured out, maybe the top three will get something or the top shots. We know the top shots going to get something for sure. Okay, go ahead, defense set. So the first two stages are going to be at their 22 long rifle range. They have a 22 L L LR range. They have a rifle range, pistol range, and then an area for shotguns. So stages one and two, stage one, he has a about a 15 foot long conveyor belt with metal ducks, like at the fair, but there you shoot it with a real gun and knock down the ducks. Uh, stage two, there's metal plates. They're designed for 22s. Then we move to stage three. You'll be taking shots at a about at about 65 yards over a pond at a dueling tree. You'll do one stage with an AR with an optic and one stage with just iron sights. Uh, the next stage, same area, but they have hanging plates over there, and that will be done with some sort of a PC or some sort of PCC. Uh, stage five, we will move on and we will do a hostage target. Um, Probably with a 22 revolver just to make it fun. <laughs> well, some of these you kind of it's an equalizer and stuff. Not, not everybody shoots all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got some ideas for that. When you know we make it, we make it fun. So last year we had an accuracy challenge with the life card gun that Gizzard Gary brought with them, the little single shot credit card 22, and whoever got the most accurate shot closest to mine yep. actually won a prize, won an upper, a complete upper. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So stage seven will be when we go on the stage where there's going to be golf balls hanging from a rope, and we'll pick those off at 15 to 20 yards, roughly, or whatever we decide with the 22 handgun. Yeah. Uh, and stage eight, we will round out the morning with bowling with a 12 gauge. <laughs> That's I right. I said bowling with a 12 gauge. So we want to make it kind of competitive, kind of exciting. So it's not just people, you know, shoot everything they brought, and then two hours later they're bored and they're all sitting around. So that. That'll take us up to, or maybe after lunch. Is that kind of the idea? It depends on. It was probably around lunch. We'll break for right. lunch, and we'll we're gonna for for Saturday. We're gonna cook up some sort of dead animal, whether it's cow or pig or whatever. We'll have food for you. Um, and then after lunch is gonna be more of a free shooting. Um, just kind of a range day for everybody. But all, all, uh, towards the end, we're gonna have some uh, like a steel challenge and um some moving targets that are kind of fun Ooh, okay okay then i'll that'll kind of round out day one we might do a few more things but though that's what's planned yeah yeah uh, and then day two you want to do you want to talk about day two yeah oh, we'll actor. probably we'll probably get everybody together for dinner or something saturday i mean people can go out to dinner together or you can break off and go do whatever you want to do so we'll have donuts and coffee in the morning coffee is going to be provided by blackout coffee company they're the official coffee supplier of the event That'll be happening for breakfast. So if you don't want that, you need to plan to pack your own food for this because there won't be any yes. real food food available on site. And you're going to have to go 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes minimum to get to a gas station to find something. So if there's something you need, bring food. Bring food for two days. Um, yeah, but there yeah, are like refrigerators said, on site, yeah. so, you, yep. so you can do that. But, yeah, we, we try to let everybody know, but last year most people showed up and they missed that part. So there it's... It's, it's out in the middle of a cornfield, so there yeah. there's no restaurants out there, so bring food. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have lunch for you guys, and then, you know, there's going to be leftovers and cookies and stuff like that. But then then in the evening, you know, we'll plan on going out for dinner, doing something Saturday night, either going into Lincoln or going someplace in Firth, if we can pull that off again, which worked out good last time. And then Sunday, we'll have donuts and coffee again, but then we probably won't have anything supplied at all for Sunday because people are going to be coming and going at their leisure on Sunday. So we don't know if people are going to stick around for lunch or stay late or what they're going to do. So we don't, yeah. we really don't have any plans for that. But again, we got a fridge, oven, microwaves, freezer, you know, you can bring us whatever you want. Heck, you can make yourself frozen pizza if you want to when you're there. So yeah. Yeah. Well, and especially where Travis and I will be serving as, R as RSOs. So we have enough RSOs on, on, on yep. record. So yep, yep. Yep. We'll be there too. We're going to have RSOs covered this year because uh, uh, Defense and I got our certification. So GWEBS has a question for us. Can we come up out of the water in the pond like a 1990s SEAL commercial and take out the threats from there? GWEBS, you can do that on Sunday if you want to. We can reserve that lagoon for you. 
So you can take your massive footsteps of a Navy SEAL and take out any target you want, belt-fed machine gun or otherwise. So, yeah, absolutely, G Webs. Just to let you know. So, uh, let's see here. So, G Web says, when I send you my invoice, I'll include a list of all my food requirements and each of the dog's diet requirements for your caterer. We will take care of that for you. Vegan, plant-based, herbivore, keto, whatever you are, we've got you covered. Actually, we're going to do hamburgers and hot dogs. So, if you are vegan, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, there, <laughs> there, there will be something to eat, though. I'm sure. So. Yep. uh let's see uh, crabby turtle says who are you going to use to move around i'm confused by that what does he mean by that i don't know oh who are we going to use to move around no 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 we have dummy targets that that that's oh. moving yeah i thought i was like who no we're not shooting at any human beings no we're yeah, shooting he's, at dummy it's kind of cool yeah. he's got a pulley system set up with targets that the two attacker targets come at you yes yes Gizzard Gary says, bring sunblock and a hat. It gets warm and sunny there. Yes, it was like raining and cold in the morning, and then we were roasting and hot and humid. As the day went on, bring plenty, bring plenty of fruit. We'll have water, some water there, but bring plenty of fluids, juices, whatever you need to get through the day. Plan ahead. Everything does have covering over it, though. There is awnings and coverings over all the shooting areas, well, a lot of them. So you've yep. got places where you can sit and stay out, of, stay out of the sun. You can go back into the, go to the, the bunkhouse area. Air you need to get in there down yeah yeah we've got really good accommodations for everybody so oh gizzard gary beware of the baked nebraska yeah that's something you got to be careful that's delicious by the way that was at uh papa Do's <laughs> restaurant that night so very good yep. stuff okay now let's get into day two we'll go and keep things rolling here so day two um that's going to be the day where we're going to let uh, people have an opportunity to have a, a secure zone that they'll be able to film and shoot in we're gonna have different firearm options available to them in those particular zones with an RSO present on site while you're filming. We'll have a spreadsheet that'll get put out. We'll send a link out to everybody that's registered as soon as we possibly can or get that posted and let people know where to find it. And then you can pick your time slot on Sunday morning that you want to go out and film. Now I'm an early bird. I can be out there super early. We can start filming, you know, as soon as we're allowed to, as soon as the owners of the range let us, we'll, we'll start filming. So you can have a spot of like say 15 or 30 minutes where you can get your film on, get a chance to walk around and shoot and talk and so on, do have some fun. Um, maybe that kind of thing you don't get to do at your own range back home. So that's one of the opportunities that we want to offer for everybody. So, um, but anyway, so that's what's going to happen day two. And then, you know, lunch is going to be very, probably just kind of get together picnic style. People can bring whatever they want, eat whatever they want, and then people can go whenever they want. Then maybe like Sunday night or Sunday evening, depending on how much time we have, uh, we can all make a field trip to Shields. So, uh, so <laughs> no, G Webs has another state. He's questioning the Bake Nebraska. So, yeah, just for, for y'all, what it is, Nebraska, Bake Nebraska, if you go to this little restaurant, and they serve it in a literal pie plate, and it's spaghetti, but half of it has marinara and meat, or like a meat sauce. The other half is Alfredo, and then it's covered with cheese, and then it's all melted. It's baked. That's what they call baked Nebraska. It's it's a literally like a nine inch pie plate. Like, it's a Dude, lot it's, of food. It's 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 yeah, it's a lot. Like I ate half and I was stuffed, and somehow I think I put down the other half, and it just kicked my butt, dude. Yeah, frozen corn meringue on fire. That's basically what it is, all covered in cheese, G Webs. Oh man, let's see. Fluffy says, I told my doctor, look at me, I'm not built for a plant based diet. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah, G Webs has got the or Gizzard's got the uh, description for there. Oh man, he goes, Oh, it's a real thing. I thought you're messing around. No, we are very serious about this. It is. I it didn't is. know about it. I heard you guys yeah. ordered and I ordered some stupid burger and I was looking over like, Damn, I want that. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so good. I can only do it like once a year though, because I probably end up in like a you know, I need like a bypass or something if I did it on a regular basis. Yeah, All I right, so, the girlish figure. There we go. I know I gotta keep working on mine too. So swag bags, we're gonna have probably 25 to 30 um, bags for the first 30 households that sign up. So it's gonna be one bag per household. Cause that way, you know, if we've got 30, we got enough to cover up to 68 roughly people that are gonna be that could be at this event. So we're gonna set it up per household, but there's a lot of stuff that goes in the swag bag we had hats we had coffee we had uh, like all flashlights and stickers and knives i mean there was so much stuff holsters for the first so many people that signed up so there is going to be there will be swag bags for attendees we've got cleanse oil on board supply cleaning supplies we've got blackout coffee company i'm working with bear creek arsenal for uppers defense dad is is talking to monstrum so hopefully we can get some optics again this year um i have an i have a monster monstrum optic i'm actually going to give away myself uh, this time around too which is really cool talking to Versicary um, and any other sponsors that we have. So hopefully we'll, you know, have some pretty good swag bags for you. So, so yeah. You, since you mentioned holsters, I want to mention something. We are going to yeah. have stages set up where they're going to, where they're going to, so a couple things. So oh. 
for the shooting contest in the morning, we are supplying the, the ammo for that. But you're still you bring your own. You're welcome to bring whatever guns you have as long as they're legal guns, especially if it's going to be on video. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're going to need to you need to bring some ammo because we we can't afford to fund the ammo for everybody. <laughs> but no, for the for the competition though, we're supplying the ammo, correct? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We got the guns. The guns and the ammo will be supplied for the competition. So I'm planning on putting my bread A300 patrol out there so you guys can do the shooting with that if you want to for the bowling competition. I'm going to bring my DDM 4A1 with a brand new EOTech on it for you guys to use for one of the 556 competitions. We'll have other AR set up and stuff. We're going to have the semi-autos covered. So that's all done. So for yep. the range day itself, yeah, when we do the actual shooting and stuff after lunch, you know, all that yeah, fun stuff you yep. want to supply. We are going to talk to Meat Ammo, though, and see if we can get some 9mm lined up again this year. Last yep. year we had 900 rounds of frangible that we just – burn through we had a great time with it great ammo by the way it worked fantastic well so, and the other thing yeah. is if you guys have never been to a range like this before is again we're gonna have stations set up um but we're gonna um that does require you to have a strong side outside the waistband or outside or inside waistband holster for if you're gonna shoot a regular pistol we there are no there's no carrying live firearms from the from one area to the next so just if you just bring bring your holsters basically yeah make sure you've got your holsters we'll have a few spares but just yeah you have to have we have to have holsters on site for the for the range day itself the post competition part of it do you have so so you need 30 quantity of things to add to the thunder on the prairie gift bags yes and if you do that g webs we will call you an official sponsor of the event and you can write that off on your taxes and we will mention you as a sponsor and uh and we'll let everybody know well from here on out we'll mention you as a sponsor if you decide you want to donate so yeah, yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. So roughly thirty of anything, you know, stickers, patches, whatever, just stuff that we can use to put together the swag bags. And because there's a lot of stuff that we buy the bags ourselves, there's a lot of stuff that we buy out of pocket just because we want to make this a fun thing for everybody and just kind of bring everyone together. And for me, it's kind of my vacation because I don't really go anywhere in the summertime. So, um, or if I do, it's because I've got a project to work on or something. It's not really for leisure. So this is my like leisure time for me. It's my downtime in the summer. So I'm yeah. cool spending a little bit of money on it. It's fun for me. So yeah. Man, I think that's it. What have we missed? Just oh, um, deadlines to sign up, due dates, and all that stuff. What are we looking at here? Uh, we want to have it by eight. You can sign up after this if you need to, but we would like to have the deadline be April thirtieth. That gives us enough time to have a fairly accurate head count, to, especially to let vendors know if they're sending stuff for the swag or giveaways. Um, if we feel like we're giving you basically two months to make, so you should have plenty of time to make yeah. arrangements to travel and that kind of gets vacation time off, that sort of thing. But yeah, hopefully by April 30th, because that gives us the month of May. And cause this is the very first we have almost month. three months right now that people know about it. Right. Cause it's June. Yeah. Just two days short of three months notice, three months, 90 days notice that this is going to happen. So everybody, well, like if we, if we know by yeah. April 30th, basically how many people get. So if we get vendors that are going to send us, like yeah, holsters like they did last year. We know. Oh, true. Yeah, that's true. But the event's going to happen. So just so people know, you know, if we're planning ahead, you've got this much time to take off if you need to. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, man. Cool, man. Yeah, I think we're going to be all set. So that should be should be good. So. Um, otherwise, I think. Let's see. What else was there? Was there something we said? No, we had mentioned the food. We talked about the lodging, the filming. The oh, day one filming. You could film if you yeah. want to. You know, when you're going through those stages and shooting, you could film, but. You're going to have to, you know, obviously, you know, be very knowledgeable of the firing line. We're not going to let you pass that when you're filming. We can't guarantee yep. there won't be any other, any other noise coming in when you're trying to film or talk. So especially that day one, it's noisy. So if you're going to have time where there's no gunshots in the background and you want to film. That's probably we're not going to stop for you for that. So that's what Sunday's yeah. for. But and you that's why we film if you want to. You can you can film if you want to. But yeah, that's why we made it a two day event, because last year we had a lot of fun, but it was. It was admittedly a little bit, a little bit hard to difficult or, or to shoot or to film around everybody having a, having fun out in the firing line. Yeah, we just got to keep everything safe and make sure everybody's careful and and uh, it should be good to go. So, um, otherwise, I think that's about it. So, if there's something we missed or something you guys have questions about, that password to register is going to be in the description box down below. Look at that. Oh, there's the the last thing I want to mention real quick here, and then we'll we'll call it the Thunder on the Prairie swag. If you're interested in this, um, oh, I just yeah. want to show you guys. There's a link for it down below. You guys can get Thunder on the Prairie merch if you're interested. And also some Travis P11 stuff. What I don't like about Teespring on this is they limited the different products I can sell at a time. Like there's boxer shorts. There's all kinds of sweatpants and stuff like jogger pants and stuff that, that I could have added, but I'd have to substitute for other stuff that's already out. So I wanted to kind of maximize the appeal to people. So if you click on that 
Travis P11 Teespring store link. Um, there's some Travis P11 merch you can get. There's a Got Trav Trav I shirt, which is kind of a playoff of the Got Milk shirt that we had, you know, the Got Milk logo from back in the day. But then the actual Thunder on the Prairie logo, which was designed by Gizzard Gary, by the way. Yeah. Um, we've got it on sweatshirts and t-shirts. Unfortunately for the t-shirts, this is like as big as the, I can make it essentially to have it up high. So that's why it gets placed the way that it does on the t-shirts. It'll be a little bit larger in real life. Um, the mugs are pretty cool. You can click on it and see the front and the back. We've got the print all over t-shirts you can get. We've got stickers. We've got hoodies. We've got the little boonie hats. I'm kind of interested in the hat, but I got to measure my big noggin because they say maximum head circumference is 24 inches on that. Okay. Okay. And they're, they're not cheap. I mean, the t-shirts are not bad, but we've got everything set to just about the minimum threshold that we can. Uh, and we're going to make like maybe $2 off of everything pre-tax, by the way. So we're not making much off every item that gets sold. We probably make about a buck 75 and that's about it. So, so yoga pants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can get under the prairie yoga pants. If you want to the boxer shorts are kind of funny, but I don't have those listed right now. So this is what's available at this time. Also, if you use code early bird, you get 10% off your order. And that's going to be good just for like another two weeks. I think, I think they gave me 30 days on that for that code. And so if you use it, you'll get 10% off your order. So it is kind of cool that, you know, the logo did does work well. I especially like the printed all over t-shirt. I think that looks awesome. So yeah, that's just something that we have going on here. So, and the duffel bag is sweet too. It's got the, got the, the round going over the stalks of corn, you know, probably to go take out a deer or something. So um anyway so that's that's happening too let me go and stop that so i think that's it so um there's a link that will take you directly to the thunder on the prairie um event itself you can register get signed up print off your receipt and uh, the payment options and stuff are on there too i mean i'm going to be registering and paying myself as an attendee just so you guys know i just need to do that yep. this week uh we're we're doing it also and i think it's going to be fun so yeah Yep, I'll pay for it too. I wanted to say a big thing. I don't know if they're watching or not, but I want to say a huge thanks to Justin and Dorothy, who are actually the owners. I mean, they literally last year and this year, well, they 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 bump big name trainers for this weekend for us and where they could be making money, and they're just basically charge what they charge the structures. Like, we're stable. talking like Masada you literally, you know. <laughs> like, La last year they bumped, like yeah. Last yeah. year they bumped Norm Hood for us. Yeah. So, I mean, we're talking and they also have like, uh, what is it? Thunder Ranch instructors that come out there too. So, I mean, it's, you know, they're actually really cool to work with, which is amazing. Uh, yep. Wood says baseball hats. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to see if I can get, the thing is they limit the number of things I can put out at a time. And I thought that the boonie hat looked a little bit cooler than the baseball cap. So, and I thought the trucker hats were really expensive. They were like, like 30 some dollars. And I thought, I don't know. And I might swap out some of those items between now and the event. But Teespring only lets me put out like 10 at a time. And that's so they can make the items quickly because they have like the inventory on hand to print that stuff off. So, yeah, that's kind of the situation right now. So um, otherwise, yep, yep. Uh, G says, yeah, are there Thunder in the Prairie yoga pants? I don't know. I think there were joggers maybe that you could get. I just didn't put them up there. I was trying to put stuff that I thought people would want to buy. So I thought coffee mugs, hoodies, T-shirts, sweatshirts, especially if you're a Nebraska resident, you can wear that stuff six months out of the year, you know like sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff like that. So, all right, man, I think that's about it. I think we'll go ahead and let it go. Um, yep. Anyway, shout out on the YouTube side to Gizzard, Gary Woods, G web, single shot, fluffy 10 millimeter Jeep guy, Bjorn in the house, uh, guns and barbecue watching two live moo mm -hmm. crabby turtle out there, fluffy 10 millimeter Jeep guy, Kingpin. Uh, we had a couple more people out there joining in. So just shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching Sam at Sam of anarchy 92 and also M Gabriel uh that's it guys thanks for watching um have fun be safe we'll see everybody on saturday for the excuse me the next episode of caliber corner when we're going to talk about the upcoming uh ruger marlins and also just the marlin lever guns in general uh just have a little chat about that see what's out there what's available look at the vintage stuff and the new stuff and see you know kind of how it's going so so that's it guys uh thanks for thanks for watching everybody I want you guys to have fun be safe hopefully we'll see everybody saturday morning at 8 a.m get over there and subscribe to uh, defense dad's channel and uh, yeah, I'll try to get a video out for you guys this week and we will talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Later. Later, guys.